Hey everybody, I want to chat with you guys and gals a little bit about the basics today. And when I talk about the basics, I want to be clear the basics have always worked. They will always work and they will continue to work no matter how advanced you get as a lifter. And when I make this statement, I am in no way saying that certain special exercises can't have their uses. I'm not saying certain cables and uh, certain smaller movement patterns absolutely do not have a use. I'm not saying machines don't have a use. What I am saying is that all of those things are very, very optional um, and they are absolutely not required for anyone to make the best gains possible. So when you have anyone out there say something like, oh, they, they don't teach the basics and they focus on a lot of stuff outside of the basics in terms of training, uh, odds are they're a con man because because let's be realistic, most of those other things are situationally useful. All right, most people who have an audience, uh, a lot of people point out my audience because I've been doing this a long time and I put out a lot of stuff for advanced lifters is arguably on average more advanced, way more advanced than yet the average fit pros audience is. So if anyone should be putting out stuff for really advanced lifters and very special weak point training, it would be someone like me, but most of these influencers don't have that type of audience, okay? I'm gonna go so far as to say that the majority of their followers haven't put on their first 20 to 25 pounds of muscle. I bet you most of their followers have never even hit a 405 plus squat below depth, had probably never benched 300 plus pounds or all. Okay, the, vote, the vast majority. Okay, so their, their followers are novices and intermediates, 95 to 99% of them. For most of the people putting out information, let's just be realistic here. I'm a bit of an exception because I've been putting out advanced lifter information for over a decade. And a lot of people who followed me have followed me that long. Tons of my followers are like are people who come back. I've been following you since you know 2012 or 2014. Okay, they've been lifting a long time. A lot of these newer people who've only been putting out content for five or six years, you don't have that sort of a long-term base buildup. So when they're discussing all this other stuff, it's not even to their audience. Their audience has no use for it. When people start talking about Oh, you know, for, for your lats, uh, grabbing a single arm cable, right? A cable device with one arm or a machine with one arm and doing a wrist twist on it as some form of lat exercise. You see where we're going with this? Probably the most advanced I would give anyone in their first five years of hard training would probably be a one arm dumbbell row probably about the most advanced lat exercise I would give them. Maybe even their first decade, right? Probably about the most advanced thing we would, we would even bother to do for building muscle or strength, right? Why? Because they don't need any, anything else. Weighted pull-ups, get really good at pull-ups. I promise you, you'll have lats. Be really good at barbell rows. I promise you'll have a pretty good overall back. Not to say we shouldn't do some of these other movements as we get more advanced, but this is after you've built a base for a few hard years, like a real training. And just because someone's been training a few years doesn't mean they've ever built a base either. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Same thing with, with arm work. It's a perfect example. I'm just doing some barbell curls there. You know, I like certain other types of curls. I don't just do believe in barbell curls. I really like preacher curls. I think preacher curls bring a lot to the table. But I think a preacher curl done with an easy bar or a standing barbell curl or even a standing dumbbell curl. See, that falls under basic exercises. Those are basic exercises. And they'll take you a long way. In fact, let's take those three things. Those three types of curls right there. 99% of people will never need anything more advanced or beyond that ever in the gym to get about the best biceps they're probably going to get. Right? Yeah, those, th those three will, will build you a heck of a base. Even think for chest work, barbells and dumbbells. Get the job done. Am I saying maybe a cable fly might not be useful for some people? Sure, I think it can be. 
is it useful for the majority of people? No, it's probably uh, inefficient use of time for the majority of people. There are people who it will be useful for it. You know, certain points, weak point training, yeah, absolutely. Flat and incline work will get you most of the way there. Same thing, let's talk about shoulders. How about a seated shoulder press? That's a good basic exercise. But I think a lateral is a basic exercise. I think an upright row is a basic exercise. Okay. I think needing to do rear delts with a one-arm cable is not so much a basic exercise. Probably left a fairly advanced lifter if you've built a real base. Lower body, I mean, same thing. Squats, deadlift variations, squat variations, basic machines. Leg presses, hack squats, leg curl machines, Romanian deadlifts, good mornings. Maybe see if, maybe a little bit of fancy stuff. I, I like glute ham raises and reverse hypers. People trying to get into other stuff. Oh, let's do one-legged stuff with a booty band. Oh. Hip circles. All this stuff is, is, is largely nonsense. That's not even advanced stuff. It's actually complete nonsense. There is no biomechanical basis for any of this, any of that stuff like the whole hip circles and booty bands that's make-believe pretend useful it, it, they don't do anything valuable there's no reason for them to even exist in my opinion and i try to find uses for things you know i take a tool and say well kid is there a good use for this tool can i figure out a use for this tool maybe there's a certain weak point I can't think of any reason for those things to exist. They don't even help with glute activation, that's for sure. They, they can't. So again, people can go a long way with the basics. Barbells, dumbbells, weighted body weight exercises. Yeah, a couple of useful machines. Some, some lower body machines I think have some merit. Absolutely. Anything beyond that, if someone is promoting it, or they're promoting nonsense, like they're literally trying to tell you that certain hand angles produce a greater range of motion on a cable press down because of the, the, the swing arm, not the actual joint angle. All right, this is nonsense. It's actually, it's, it's a waste of your time and it's a waste of their time to even make it. Things like trying to line the muscle fibers up on the other side of a joint with a one arm handle on some sort of back exercise. It's complete nonsense. It's nonsense. It's completely useless, completely worthless, completely pointless. It doesn't do anything that a pull up probably wouldn't do better. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative and I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.